Andre, before we talk about his goal, Bruno, just how big a win was this for Manchester United? Difficult place, Everton in tough times, but you came here, got that result. Oh, it's always tough to play uh, against Everton. They're a really good team, very direct, strong. Uh, they have good players on the ball, but I think we our performance was really good. I think at moments we could play a little bit more in the last 20 minutes of the first half, uh, but, but we did the job. Your performance, what about his performance? Ah, so so, I give him I give him a, a good note just for just for the goal, but that's just because he knows I have big expectation for him. He's a he's, he's a great player. He has a great future. He's not a great player yet, but he has a great future ahead. Uh, but we expect a lot from him. He knows that even more. Me, he knows I'm, I'm, I'm going to always be behind him, uh, asking for more. But obviously, amazing goal. Not not for everyone. Did you think you'd done it when when it left your foot? Could you believe it had gone in? I can't believe, to be honest. Yeah, yes, I did, and I didn't see how how he scored. Just I listened the the round, and I said, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for me, one one of the best goals I scored, of course, and <clears throat> it's, so I'm I'm very happy. It could well be one of the best of the season. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. it's still November, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a good goal. Yeah. It was such a good goal, and I think it just took everybody's breath away. You silenced the crowd. Yeah, obviously, a goal like this has to silence the crowd. I think even for the crowd, obviously, Everton fans was not really happy about that, but I think they enjoy it to see these kind of things, and I, I think it's, it's amazing for the football. Players like him can do this, and we are, we are all proud of him, and obviously I'm, I'm very happy to have him on my side. You had the opportunity to take the penalty, your second goal. You gave that ball to Marcus. Why did you do that? Oh, because Marcus, uh, I, I felt that Marcus needed a little bit of confidence, needed needed his goal, um, and as Marcus is an excellent penalty taker too, he, I'm I'm 100 percent sure that he could he could score that uh, that penalty. So it's it's not about to take it; it's about scoring the penalty, and Marcus did it perfectly. Has his confidence taken a little bit of a hit? A lot of people have been talking about the fact he hasn't scored a lot for Manchester United this season. No, I think it's obviously you know strikers, wingers. They want to score goals. They need to score goals. That's that's part of their game, and uh, it gives you more as, as a boost. I think after the penalty, Marcos was un unstoppable. He could take on everyone. So I think sometimes you need this uh, this this chance, this opportunity to get your confidence back. But uh, Marcos is being great for us. Obviously. Last season he was amazing, so everyone' expectations for this season was higher. So it's just it's just about getting getting his goals back, and everyone who's, who's still saying that he's, he's world class again. I know he's waiting for his award, but I just want to ask you about that togetherness because I think that also showed the togetherness that you have at Manchester United. I think we, we have this since the beginning of the season. Obviously, the results didn't show that, and and you know that results are are, are really important in football. And and in these days, everyone is expecting you to win every game, even more at Man United. So, uh, is what it is. But the togetherness is there. It's, it's about getting the results back. He's looking at me. He's waiting. Can you just give him his Player of the Match award, Bruno? I don't think he deserves it, but take it. Thank you. For the goal. For the goal. So you yeah, can remember the goal. The goal. <laughs>